Too often, gamers bring down the mighty wrath of the collective community down upon a game for being a clone. While sometimes justified, especially if artistic theft is involved, more often than not, gamers are simply witnessing the natural progression of any new idea to mass production and eventual refinement into a genre. Super Crate Box by Vlambeer and Halfbot is arguably the progenitor of its particular flavour and style of arcade action platforming. But with competitors already mimicking the formula, is it still the best? In a very basic and real sense, there's just no copying what makes Super Crate Box so fun and addictive. Despite oodles of enemies pouring their way down the platforms towards a fiery pit, players must focus their attention on collecting crates to earn points and having their weapons randomly switched in the process. Depending on your luck and skill, a round can last from a few points to several dozen or even more if you've mastered the mechanics. It's clear that much of the development time went into its deceptively simple controls, with the response times on these buttons being near instantaneous. Oddly though, the precise level of these controls, including the game's collision detection, can be off-putting for those used to playing platformers. There's no light level of physics to simulate inertia, nor is there any cooldown between jumps allowing the player to bounce if they land faster than normal, such as jumping while between platforms. For many, this is what makes Super Crate Box so competitive and challenging. There's literally no one to blame but yourself for errors. With that said, it can feel incredibly awkward to play until you've racked up a lot of game time. Adding to this is the broad and randomised selection of weapons on offer, ranging from pistols to laser rifles, each one operating in unique ways with damage to match. Being stuck with mines when a crate is at the top of a level can be a nightmare, but that's part of the risk and fun of playing the game. It can take a while to feel comfortable with everything on offer, however the dual pistols seem to have lost something in the translation to touch controls, as their weak bullets and lack of auto fire make them frustrating to use in almost all situations. Longevity and replay value is further bolstered by unlockables in the form of new characters to randomly spawn as, new weapons, new game modes, essentially higher difficulty levels, and most interestingly of all, the developers promised updates based on the number of crates unlocked worldwide. We'll have to see how that plays out in the future. Unfortunately, most of this content can be unlocked in the first hour, and all but the most hardcore of audiences will be left seeking out high scores they may never topple. With all of this in mind, Super Crate Box is still the king of its kind, if only because there's no way to match the original's fast-paced, energetic gameplay. If you're motivated by high scores, or just want a mindless action distraction, Super Crate Box is a fantastic way to spend your spare time. This has been Andrew with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.